Stefan. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. So why are you being such a jerk? It's always good to see big stars in early roles. Emily, I am not weak. I'm dead. But I might be able to support my family after I'm gone by cooking crystal meth. This whole goddamn thing is going down at tubes. This is Dead Space, set in a future where man has technology enough to explore the universe, but has lost the secret of the light bulb. Well, that answers that. The story is basically, what if Han Solo came to the rescue of the Nostromo from Alien? So if we can't get this bucket up and running again, I'm getting a bad feeling about this place. The film was made in 1991, which seems a bit late for an Alien ripoff. <laughs> And that's because this is Roger Corman's remake of his own Forbidden World. <laughs> a more timely alien ripoff and a film that was no great shakes to start with. But this one really shows how bad acting, bad dialogue and bad camera work can come together to create something even worse. Commander. Have you asked yourself why Dr. Darden doesn't terminate this experiment? We may as well get the monster out of the way now. It is not a monster. Which changes from angry Muppet... <laughs> ...to the polymorph from Red Dwarf. <laughs> Anyway, roguish adventurer and space sauna enthusiast... Absolutely, throw up the deflectors, I'll be up right away. Commander Krieger and his snarky robot sidekick Tin Pan... That wouldn't be my first choice, Commander. ...answer a distress call from a planetary base. I'm Commander Steve Krieger, freelance controller responding to distress signal. Hello, I'm the hero. Which of you lucky ladies is going to be my love interest? Sorry, I am Dr. Emily Stote, head of research. This is Dr. Salinger. Marissa Salinger, genetics. Probably the one with the music. How much trouble could a couple of scientists get into anyway? A quick look at our back catalogue will tell you just how much trouble a couple of scientists can get into, and these are no exception. It appears to be a metamorphic mutant. The details probably don't matter. There's a monster on the loose killing people, and wouldn't you know it? My ship's been damaged. I used up the last of my power getting here. Frankly, if he hadn't answered the distress call, he'd be sending one. But since he's here, he tries to help. How's she doing? Well, she was fine till you walked into a sterile room without wearing a mask. Now she's gonna die. Cut the shit. And if you thought that was selfish, you should see him in a fight. I'm just going to use your body as a human shield. Take her, don't hurt me! What's your problem? I mean, it's obvious, this guy is an idiot. Hey, I'm with you. I mean, is this all you can do? Stand around and criticize the guy who's trying to save our lives? He doesn't save yours. <laughs> this takes place after, more by luck than judgment, the monster ends up outside. You know, it's out of the lab now. Maybe we're okay. What are the chances it'll survive? Which, some might say, is the perfect opportunity to fix the spaceship, or to ponder on how the scientists got there if they don't have one of their own. Why didn't you tell us this before? Instead, Krieger goes out after it. He's got to be out here someplace. And having caused the death of the girl and Tin Pan... <laughs> ...leads the monster back into the base! Back. It's in the control room. I'm not even sure what he expected to achieve. We know the guns don't work on it. But hitting it with a stick... <laughs> ...is bound to wear it down eventually. Well, I've got an idea. You've got to help me. Heisenberg here has a science solution. I am afflicted with Delta Phi. If we can get this creature to ingest some of my tissue. He plans to shoot darts filled with his blood into the creature, but Krieger has a better idea. <laughs> By 
but it's not over yet. <laughs> Critter babies, now what? <laughs> Fire kills them. That would have been worth knowing earlier. It's incredibly simple. Thanks for watching. For more Roger Corman reviews, click here. In both this and his more famous role as Walter White, Brian Cranston plays someone terminally ill. Are there any other stars whose early work has a strange resonance with their later roles? Let us know in the comments below.